Uh, I would like just to say a few things and to probably correct some of the aspersions that have been cast upon the committee. Under the chairmanship of uh, Honorable Speaker, which he did a fantastic job to actually chair that uh, committee, you wouldn't have known who is in the ma majority, who is in the minority. I believe because we were also even being vetted by Kenyans on how we conducted ourselves, we asked pertinent questions that touch on Kenyans, and we were from diverse counties and constituencies, and so the questions that we asked also reflected the various needs of Kenyans from across the country, Madam Speaker. It is then unfortunate for members to come and say that we were just playing politics, we were biased, or that even as minority we are settling scores in this House. Madam Speaker, and I thank members of this House for approving us to go and sit in that vetting committee. When we present ourselves to run for office, we are vetted by the public. They know who we are, they know what we stand for, they decide whether you want them to represent them or not. And so the vetting takes place at the ballot. But when we, we are then presented as a committee to do our vetting, we give our opinion that this is what we think, having sat through long hours. We used to sit from 7 a.m to 8 p.m. and you listen to each candidate. We look at the requirements, both the statutory requirements of whether you have the documentation and the things that are needed, and also whether you fit the office. And that is why we ask the questions. Otherwise, we would just then ask you whether you have the EACC uh, document, you have the good conduct, you actually degrees not even needed for, for to, be, to be approved to be a cabinet secretary. But then we went ahead to ask the questions and to, 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 to really uh, question your suitability, Madam Speaker. And so I just want to, to ask the members as they debate that once we, re we presented and we tabled this report, that was our opinion. You will have yours, and you will even have a bigger one because you will actually vote. And so it will be brought, he, it has been tabled, you will read it, you have read it. You can have a contrary opinion without casting any aspersions to the committee members. And also to my colleagues in the majority side. When now they want, we had a unanimous decision and now wanting to say it was from, from the minority side alone, that is also unfortunate because you, sh you, know, you can't table something and then also want to run away from it or, or to make us look like you know, we're the bad ones and even make the women more bad because it's a woman on it. These are just our opinions and you can have your opinion. And I think the, my, uh, the majority whip by thinking you're helping Honorable Malonza by bringing issues of her periods on this floor, you are actually making it worse because we didn't judge her on that. And I just want to tell you this. Those are not the things we were looking at. And you cannot also bring the issues when it becomes on issues to do with women to trivialize it to become about our moods, our emotions, our periods, that that day I didn't wake up on the right side of the bed, that's why I didn't answer the questions right. Actually, you are even making it worse, that maybe what we said in the committee, you're, you, you're actually propagating it. And so when you discuss issues women, don't trivialize it, don't go to that level. Uh, and that is just something that I wanted to, to, to say.